Now that we've connected the data source with the grid view, we need to implement the design of the cell. Cells are the components that grid view will use to display the posts. Go back to the cells and open list post cell. As we can see, designing a cell is similar to designing a screen. First, let's make the cell bigger by changing its size. We need to select the cell's view from the middle section to change its size. Secondly, we add an image view which we will connect with the post's image later. Also, we set up its pin constraints. Thirdly, we add another image view for the avatar of the uploader. Be careful to add it to the cell, and not as a subview of the other image view. The blue overlay shows the parent container view to which the dragged view will be added. Again, we set up its size and position, using the pin constraints. Next, we will add two labels. One for the post's title and another one for the username. It looks like we need to make the cell a little bigger, so we go to the cell's view and change its height. As we have already set up the constraints for the added elements, they will stay in the expected position. We can update its font to make it bold. This is where saving customization options comes handy. We can reuse the font that we had created and saved as favorite. Now we can also add the second label for the username. We fine-tune its position using the joystick. We will also head to the Styles Inspector to change its text color. Let's see how we can have a rounded avatar. We select the avatar image view. Go to the style inspector and open the border category. We set the corner radius to half of the width and enable the masks to bounds. Finally, we will need to connect the design elements with the data. We select the image view and open the data inspector. Here we can see that the cell already has a post property. This happened automatically because we assigned this cell to the data source in list latest post screen. So now, all we have to do is assign the post properties with the corresponding design element. We select the image URL for the image view. Kodika will automatically read the URL, download the image, and cache it, to finally display it in the image view. Then, we select the avatar URL and assign the avatar URL property of the uploader. Finally, we will do the same for the username and title labels. Now, we are ready to test our app again. After we log in, we will see the list with the posts. It looks like we need to update some constraints, so the title is not cut and the images are not stretched. We also need to update the constraints of the grid view in our screen, so it is pinned on the right and bottom too. Then, we go back to the cell and increase the size of the title label, and we change the content mode of the image view. Now if we run it again, we will see that the app is running smoothly.